Welcome back to another episode of our Brewery Farm Life. So this past week has been a tough one for our, our family. Um, we lost someone that was very, very important to us. Um, he is no longer on this earth and he will be missed dearly. I didn't release a video last week because my brain just couldn't comprehend what was happening and I was a blubbering mess and nobody needed to see me like that. Um, but I want to use this opportunity to ask a favor of you. I want you to reach out to one person at least. I want you to call somebody that you care about, somebody that you love. There are so many people out there that are suffering silently, that are going through this not well, not easily. Um, this has been a tough year for all of us. None of us have really, there's no easy way to deal with this past year. Um, but for those that are suffering from depression, it has been extremely hard. And it's little things, and I thought about it a lot this week. Um, I had a lot of time to, to really sit, sit with my thoughts. And uh, like the, how easy it is for things to slide. Um, and I'm not blaming it on anyone specifically. I just know that it's easy and it's too easy right now, which is kind of scary. There's not enough out there for people. So what I'm, all I'm asking you to do is pick up the phone, call someone you love, call someone you care about, um, send somebody a note, send them a letter, um, Smile at someone, wave at someone in the grocery store when you're grocery shopping. Give a nod. Let them know that they're not alone. That to me is way more important than sympathy or condolences. That's what I need. I need you to all do that because there's not enough of that right now. And it's so easy to let people slide through the cracks. So don't. Don't do that. So... Despite all that, our lives must move on. We just have to keep trucking, and that's what we'll do. We will keep going forward, we will keep moving on, we will keep reinventing the wheel because that's how we keep functioning in, in this world that we're living in right now. And that's what we do here on the farm. We are constantly reinventing the wheel. David has been super busy and I know he's always busy, but he's, he's an inventor. He's a creator. He has, uh, we like to call him MacGyver around here because he is constantly creating things, something out of nothing is what I like to call it. What do you do? <laughs> Winston, what are we doing? I don't know either. What do you got there? An egg. I'm just going to hold on to that egg. <laughs> yep. It's like 
watching Peach. <laughs> Okay, so explain to those of us that aren't bored. Well, I was just looking for a much slower, more painstaking way to annoy my wife while I drill holes. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> I feel like I had succeeded. <laughs> Our friends sometimes call on us, call on David more than me, um, for help <laughs> if they run into trouble with their tractors and vehicles. And so David has been working on a project for a friend. And <laughs> I think it's caused him a bit of grief, but he, he's figured it out now. <laughs> it makes me giggle. <laughs> Watching the wheels spin, the steam roll off your head. him all the time about being a MacGyver but he actually is and I shouldn't tease him because he he can make something out of nothing and it's pretty neat to watch <laughs> so making sure kids are a part of everything that happens here on the farm is big for us we try and make sure that they're included in a lot of different things Michaela wanted rabbits so she has to take care of her rabbits and she has been working with her dad and they're building a rabbit hutch 
I know I, you guys saw the video last week where they were um, kind of getting the groundwork done for it and we had Jack's help for that but this week Mikhail's been helping and it's turning out pretty cool and she's really enjoying the time with her dad. There we go. Okay. told me but I they might be wire like meshed up in here you know mm -hmm. and there's a cat right there that's the one that pushed the one off the thing then we did this and I cut my by myself with these I cut that little piece and then I tried to cut these but it was like way too hard and I was like really weak because I got noodle arms. So <laughs> yeah. Also, um I wanted to go in with the sheet, but I'm scared that she's gonna ram me, but I still didn't want to go in there. Well go in then. Okay, bye guys, it's your fault. I don't think you'll die. Well, Don't just be gentle. Is he a porn addict? Sheep don't have horns, do they? Mm hmm. Some of them do. Oh. Good boy. Oh, you're taking your deal. Oh, you have the biggie. Just be gentle, or he will <laughs> ram you. <laughs> <laughs> you good boy. Good boy. Don't you dare. You good boy. Good boy. You good boy. You do all the good too. You good boy. You know what's not good. <laughs> no. Rest you just be nice, okay? Just be nice. just be nice. Don't oh. 
Boom. <laughs> No. I'm scared. So once again, guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Our Brewery Farm Life. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and share. We'll talk to you again soon. Cheers.